an offensive line, you, have, you, know, you guys have uh, improved so much from last year. It was, and that includes the run game as well. I mean, considering perhaps the hurdle you have to go through this week, how do you all, how do you approach talking about that with your offensive line? Uh, it doesn't change that for us. You know, no matter who's back there, we got to do our job. So it, it really doesn't matter who's running, who's did you kind of give that message to the running back? Uh, not yet, but you know, I'm definitely going to uh, mention that to him, but it all starts up front. Well, the Oklahoma's defense has kind of made a job transformation like you guys made on offense. What have you seen from them on that, on that defense? Uh, they, all those guys, they play hard, uh, a lot of speed, and not really you know, the bigger guys that we've seen uh, this throughout the season in the SEC, but uh, they play, they play fast and they play hard. Three weeks between games, Lloyd. Um, is there curiosity about or, or challenge? How, how do you keep your edge to be the same team you were against Georgia after a long break? Uh, I mean, it, it's the playoff. If you not, if you know, if, if you don't have an edge and you're know, ready to go for this one, then I don't, I don't know what to tell you. I feel like this whole team, you know, we know you know, this is. When I go home, so, uh, our mindset is not our final destination, so we got to take care of business and go home for the next championship. Being away for Christmas, that's a, that's a good problem to have. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it's a little, little weird, but you know, uh, uh, families understand. You know, we're going to be here as a team, as a family. Uh, Enjoy, enjoy the day. Coach cool. talked about the curfew being a little earlier because it's not really a rule. Yeah. How, how much different than last year? Was it? Uh, a lot different. Uh, curfew was a lot earlier last night, and everybody was on time. So I uh, feel like we got, got out to a good start with that. And everybody's locked in and uh, doing what they need to do. Lloyd, no matter if calling plays or not, it looks like you all, whoever starts at running back, schematically, do you guys as an offensive line you know, look at the running game different, block different? Nah, not at all. You know, it doesn't matter who's back there, <laughs> who's catching, catching balls, whatever. You know, we got to do our job. It doesn't, doesn't change nothing up front. We got to take care of those guys and just get the job done. Would you talk about the job Coach Esfinger has done with the offense, not just changing but accepting change, allowing, allowing Coach Brady to come in and add things to the offense and stuff like that? The kind of person he is, did that surprise you that he was able to do that? No, not, not at all. Coach um, Esfinger, since I've been here, he's always adapted and willing to do whatever best for LSU. Obviously, he played here, so he's going to want the best for, you know, for the program. And they felt like that was a... Uh, Going to the spread was the best way to go. And, uh, he's, he's done a great job. Him and Coach Brady kind of collaborating and uh, working together to get the job done. Is the O line?